welcome to Beth Roars, where we look at your favourite singers to find out what makes them them. Before we start, you can find me on Facebook, Twitter and Instagram. My handle is at Beth Roars and I hold loads of votes on my Instagram so you guys can vote on who I react to. Also, please do check out my website, bethroars.com, where you can book a singing lesson from me. And last but not least, please do head over to my Patreon, which is patreon.com, where I hold live streams. You can get early access to my podcast and you can find out a little bit more about my scholarship fund for aspiring artists. This one seems really interesting. I haven't heard them before, I don't know much about them, but they're an Indonesian duo called Stars and Rabbit. Interesting. I loved how she used the vowel modification to make the diminuendo, to make it get quieter. So, and changed on the E. Everything is so powerful. It's got so much oomph, I suppose. I use this word a lot. What does it mean? It's just, it's loud, it's kind of like wailing, it's very emotional, it feels tribal, there's no vibrato, it's not um, polished and beautiful, but it's not meant to be at all, it's meant to be like from the earth. And I love it against this kind of ethereal, synthy, atmospheric backing, so interesting, and the rhythms. She's doing all these crazy rhythms against their rhythms. Oh, it's weird, it's quirky, but it's powerful. So this guy on the guitar is the other part of the duo. She's singing with her accent. I watch the sun through my eye finger. We spend some time through the day. We... She's doing so many weird things. I love that little breath thing. <laughs> Using the breath as a little bit of percussion. It's very unusual. It's very tribal. You see it in people like Ivor, who's a Faroese amazing singer. I'll put a little link up here to her because I did a reaction to her before. Fantastic. But this is in a lot of folk music, really Scandinavian, weirdly, in a lot of Scandinavian music, but obviously also in Indonesian. I fall into your constellation. Ah, 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 And a little rude. We drove in the winds, open the window. 
open the, the window. I love this. Just to keep us She's putting in little consonants, glottal stops, which is a sound uh, 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 to make it more rhythmic. Uh, she's putting them in there to instead of uh, they're just unusual. It's giving this kind of jumpy, jarring, quirky feel. It's kind of cutesy at the same time. It's the same thing as she's adding the rhythm with the breath. We drove under the heavy rain, soaking wet. Yes, we left very And then it's smooth. And, and then Betsy. For your consolation, arms, arms. And she's getting this little distortion on the end. Here she is putting in that vibrato. Arms. I like vibrato. I like the feeling it emotes it gives you a feeling of kind of coziness I guess and stability and here she's talking about being in someone's arms whereas earlier that no vibrato that tribal feel she just wanted it to be like a shout or a scream and when you're shouting and screaming you're not putting on vibrato I mean I don't anyway she's up in her head voice it's like an animal Or the sound of the wind. Or the sound of sadness. And we dance. <laughs> she added a little yawn. So weird. It's quite Bjork esque, isn't it? I like how she changed the moon to uh, mm, as if she was like, oh, the moon is lovely, mm, it's so nice. I like that. Grew a heart of bloom. Ooh. I stop right there. You found a new home. And I should be happy. So often singers will put in riffs and runs and sometimes I feel like when you're just doing like a ooh or whatever just to fill in a spot because they haven't thought of lyrics or whatever but here it's like an expression and I think it's so important we have to think about this if we're doing a cover of a song especially when there's an ooh or an ah what is that meant to express? It's not there for no reason it's there to express something and I think she's doing this wonderfully. So forward place. Uh, uh, uh. So try if you want to find this placement, try uh, 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 uh. is there uh, rather than uh, which you might use for more of a jazzy, warmer Adele style thing. It's certainly not near the placement of Adele. just feels so connected to emotion and it's like coming from her soul or from a tree or something She's just being. <gasps> Isn't there something so wonderful 
about watching another human just being exactly who they are. Like, I think a lot of us find music superficial if the person is trying to be something. But when someone is just, ugh, this is who I am, this is my emotion in this moment, it is so captivating. Her use of breath is so cool. If there's one thing I think we can learn from this singer is that no matter who you are, no matter how weird you feel like you are or how out of place you feel like you are, being truly yourself and really expressing your emotions in a way that's true to you is captivating, whatever it may be. And you see this in the weirdest singers and even in the most socially accepted singers, what they all have in common is this connection. Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed. If you did, please do like and subscribe and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.